Hi, my name is Tiffany Starnes, and today we're going to talk about the four things you need to know before jumping on the bandwagon of a new platform. At the end of this video, you'll be able to answer questions that will inform your decision to decide on a new platform, such as, is your customer there? Can you align your goals with metrics? And quickly to identify success on that platform. So just when you think you've got your cross-marketing platform down, your Facebook, your Pinterest, your Twitter, they're all working together to support your marketing efforts, boom, new shiny object. Thanks Periscope, Blab, Snapchat. So what's a marketer to do? How do you know where to smartly invest your resources on behalf of your client? No worries, I'm here with four simple questions and a checklist. So when your boss or your client or your intern or your cousin comes running at you and says, wait, we need to do this, you need to get on Snapchat, don't worry, take a screenshot, print this out, put it at your desk and say, first, let's walk through these four questions, okay? So let's start. First of all, is your customer there? Luckily, you don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on market research or focus groups. Your customer is online telling you exactly what they want and exactly what they're looking for. And eavesdropping is not only okay, it's mandatory. In fact, it's fundamental. That makes you feel creepy. Let's just call it social listening. So where do we start? I'd say start with hashtags. Pick a channel and use a hashtag that you think your customers might be discussing. So let's say you're a pet groomer and you want to see if people on Instagram are talking about dogs. Well, using a software called Iconosquare, you can see that there are a lot of people talking about dogs on Instagram. So let's narrow it down. Let's see if people are, say, talking about pugs. Well, there are a lot of people talking about pugs, too. So let's say you want to do a free promotion for rescue animals, for rescue pugs. So as you can see, there is a niche audience of people talking about rescue pugs. So you can really get at them with the perfect message that's going to add value to that conversation, knowing that that audience is there and they're open and accepting it. In addition to looking at channels to find out if your audience is there, take a really deep look at what your audience is doing on your platforms. So for example, using Google Analytics, which is a free software, you can look at how people are using your website and where are they coming from. So as you can see from this screenshot, there's a lot of people coming from social media, a little over 5,000. But if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see that there are only five transactions. So depending on what your goals are, that could be a success or maybe not. If driving traffic and new visitors to your website, that's great. If your goal is transactions, this may not be worth an investment. You really have to look at what the value of those transactions are and then compare that to what you're spending in social media and then you'll have a really good idea of whether it's working or not. So speaking of goals, let's talk about specific goals. There are hard goals like sales and traffic and lead generation where you're actually asking someone to do something. And then there's social media goals like growth, reach and engagement that really speak more to awareness, whether your message is resonating with a customer or an audience on a particular channel. And they're all very important and how you define what's important to you is based on your bottom line and your needs. Most importantly, if you leave with nothing else, do you have the content and the resources? So we've heard it all before, content is king. Yeah, Tiffany, big yawn, tell me something I don't already know. Well, if content is king, then conversion is queen. You want to make content that speaks to your audience in such a specific way that it makes them take an action, whatever it is that you want them to do. So let's take the radio spot. You wouldn't just take your radio ad and put it on TV. Think of all the opportunity you're missing out on, the images, the visuals. So just like you wouldn't do that, you can't take your current marketing collateral and just throw them onto social platforms. It doesn't work that way. Whoever is at that platform, your customer is on that platform and they want to experience in a very specific way. So lastly, can you measure success? So let's go back to those goals that we looked at before and identify some ways that you can really track and gauge whether it's working. For growth, let's look at new followers. For reach, how far is that message going? For engagement, are people liking, sharing, and, and enjoying your content? Lead generation, are you getting new emails? Are you building a database so that you can follow up with your customer if that's one of your goals? And then of course, sales. Well, obviously, it's all about the Benjamins, right? This is ways to gauge success, but instead of calling it success, I'd like to think of it as gauging opportunities because sometimes things don't work and that's okay. We can really learn from our failures and say, okay, how are we gonna pivot? How are we gonna change our message? 
we can really learn when things don't work almost as much as when they do. So that you can quickly change your messaging and luckily in the digital landscape, you can start small, spend a little bit, test something out before you know, going all in with that million dollar budget. There's a lot to think about and there's a lot of opportunities, but I do want you to remember that marketing hasn't really changed that much. Take a look at this old ad from the 1900s selling hotel rooms. Then take a look at this Google listing. Not much has changed really. The platforms are going to continue to change, but as long as you have a solid understanding of your business goals, the customer and what you hope to accomplish, and the ability to measure that, you're all good. Again, my name is Tiffany Starnes and I hope this helps you with your digital marketing efforts.